there is no no nation globally that advocates for people of color. And Nigeria, in my opinion, being the largest black nation, um, that mantle of leadership falls on her to defend people of African descent globally. I am Chike Ukebu, and I'm running for the seat of the president of Nigeria. Prior to May 2018, uh, you had to be at least 40 years to run. We were fortunate to have a president sign the Not Too Young to Run bill, which is supposed to um, encourage more young people to get involved in politics. The current president, you know, had taken over as a military dictator the year I was born. So it's just this recycling of people who are older than the nation and people who, in my opinion, do not understand what it takes to drive us into the future. So our democracy is still very fragile, very young, and it's important that as we grow, especially uh, for a nation of almost 200 million people, um, of which about 70% is under 35, it's important that we make sure that we are driving into the future uh, the right way. When people bring up corruption with Nigeria, I usually like to correct perception that corruption is our main problem. Like, corruption is actually a global thing. In our case, though, uh, I tell people corruption at a mass level is a form of survival. There is no reason why policemen would stand on the streets and collect change from cars driving by if they did not have mouths to feed at home. Yet, you know, it's, it's easy to paint Africa as being corrupt because one, we easily take it from the white man, and two, it works for perception-wise to keep us down where we are. It benefits the West to paint us as being corrupt even though they're more corrupt. Judges actually sell black kids into prison systems um, for money, right? You have a nation that has the largest population of, of incarcerated people because it's free labor. In the US, Nigerians are actually the most educated subgroup. It's a disservice to our nation that we are all out here contributing to a nation that may not actually appreciate us as even people when we can be doing the same back home. All three, Nigeria lags behind. And these are three things that I have been focused on for the past decade, right? I am going to become the president of Nigeria because I think it's important that we have an international platform to call out some of the injustices that go on. There is no reason why young black men are being slaughtered in the streets here in America, a nation that calls itself democratic, and nobody is talking about that globally. It's important that when there are global injustices against people of African descent, that you have that world power that can speak up against that, or that people have the option to pick up and head back home, right? I've talked to several people who said, if you win, we're moving to Nigeria. And I love that, right? Especially in this climate of anti-immigration, part of what has made America great, it's immigration. It's the immigrants who have come in to help to build the nation. I wanna be able to do that in Nigeria. I wanna be able to attract brilliant minds into the country to help solve some of our problems and to grow the economies. This is global for me, and I hope it is for you. What's up, folks? Thanks for watching The Root. We hope you enjoyed this video and we'll continue to bring you more that's of interest to you. So leave a comment and make sure to subscribe to our channel on YouTube.